didn't think I was gonna cry, but I'm already starting. I am not gonna lie, I wrote my speech probably five minutes ago and it's half written. I don't even know how I was going to sum up 20 plus years of friendship with Mackenzie. So I'm just gonna fast forward to about eight years ago when Luke came into the picture. So Mackenzie goes off to college, I'm still in high school. She's telling me all these fun things. Luke's name gets thrown around. Okay, so who's Luke? Like, what's the deal, who's Luke? She got quiet, and I think all of us in this room know Mackenzie's not quiet. So I was like, okay, like he must be really special. And he has been that and more. Luke, you are super special to us. I met you and I was like, what is he doing with her? <laughs> You're so put together, Mackenzie's crazy. <laughs> No, no offense, Mackenzie, I love you, but I was like, does he know what he's getting himself into? He knew what he was getting himself into. He lasted eight years and more. Um, so I don't need to tell you to take care of Mackenzie, Luke, because you've done that for the last eight years. Just have fun. Enjoy marriage. Love you guys. I still feel it. I'm holding on. Just keep it here for I remember the first time I heard about Mackenzie. Uh, I was talking to my mom on the phone in college and uh, I was asking how Luke was doing at school. And uh, she said, you wouldn't believe it, but he's actually getting straight A's. <laughs> I definitely didn't believe it. Uh, she then went on to tell me that he's dating a nice girl from Boston who's studying to be a special ed teacher. And then it all made sense. <laughs> He found someone who could put up with him also, and also making him a better person. Uh, it's not easy to deal with my brother, but Mackenzie found a way. All joking aside, I couldn't be happier for you guys. Eight years flew by and I can't wait to see what the future brings for you guys. Uh, congratulations. <laughs> We are gathered here to witness and celebrate the marriage of Luke and Mackenzie. Can't believe this day is actually here, and I can't believe that you are actually on time. <laughs> it feels like just the other day we were sitting at dinner right down the street from here with a big jewelry box in my pocket and a big bottle of wine in your glass. I still can't believe that you didn't catch on after I ordered my third drink before the food even came out. <laughs> Mackenzie. You are my best friend. I promise to be there for you through the ups and the downs. I promise to be faithful to you and to be honest with you. I promise to comfort you and encourage you to help you reach your goals and to love you unconditionally. These past eight years together have been amazing and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you. Lucky for you this is getting caught on tape because I'm about to say something I very rarely say. You were very, very right. I was wrong. Writing our vows was not easy. <laughs> I did it today. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> it should be very easy for me to stand here in front of our friends and family and gush about how much I love you, but it's not because I don't often have to do it. You simply just read my mind. <sighs> Years ago, I chose you to be my soulmate. Today, in front of our family and friends, I choose you to be my husband. So Luke, I vow to love you every single day for the rest of my life. I promise to always listen to your advice. I might even sometimes take it. 
I vow to be compassionate for you. I vow to fiercely support you. I vow to appreciate our past, enjoy our present, and embrace our future together. I promise to spend the rest of my life hand in hand with you for all of our adventures to come. And most importantly, I vow to remain your best friend. Thank you for taking me as I am, always challenging me, and never, ever, ever failing to make me laugh. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Luke Bronco. <laughs> <laughs>